What's up, guys? We're back at it. It's been a hot minute since you've seen your boy Spur, but uh, we're back in Railroader. We're going to continue with our little railroad here today. We're coming off of spring break. My kids were out last week, and so I decided just to take the week and kind of enjoy that with them. Plus, it's just it's really, really hard to uh, to do this with a house full of kids, right? Like, it's really demanding on them, too. So we share a common area. I do this in our living room, and I hate, like, sending them away to do videos and stuff. It's just, it, it's not very easy to do. So, uh, like I said, we're back at it. Uh, we're on Railroader, and uh, we're going to kind of pick up where we left off last time, and it's been a while. So uh, this is our 600 has just taken uh, some... Holwood racks up to uh, the Walker branch. They're about, uh, what, halfway loaded, maybe a quarter of the way loaded. So we've got that going on. That's going to be the uh, Bryson yard job up there. Uh, we've got the 510 is sitting up here waiting to go south. I don't really think we have a lot of work to do in Bryson. Yeah, it doesn't look like we don't have any outbound cars or anything really ready to go. It doesn't seem like. Uh, that's a company car there. These are okay. And these are okay as well too. So yeah, we're probably going to annul this job for today and just maybe run it tomorrow. Maybe there'll be some cars that we can take. We know we'll have Portwood cars off the Walker branch to take. So yeah, 511 is going to be annulled. Uh, what else do we have on the state of the railroad? We've got our passenger. This is going to be the number one, our passenger train up here in Whittier. Uh, what's going on in Whittier? Okay. Yeah. He's northbound. Does he have anyone on it? Yeah, he does actually. He does have a few people on there. Let's see. We've got, uh, <coughs> Ayla and Bryson. So it looks like he's loaded up and ready to go north. So we'll probably just go ahead and send him on his way. Let's get this fusey out of the way there. And he should be good. I bet this thing is going to be really, really loud. So let's turn it down. Turn it down. I, in fact, I probably need to get my headphones out. It's better just to have those than to, uh, to try to deal with that. Um, he's going to be stopping at Ayla. So we'll go check this out. See if we got a fusey down. We do have a fusey. So yeah, we're we're pretty much set up and uh, ready to go as far as everything. So we'll let him run up here and do that. Uh, on further south at uh, East Whittier, we've got, it looks like we've got a log job down here and he's empty. So he's going to be ready to pull. So we'll probably get him going. Let's take this guy. Yeah, let's select him. Let's get the number three and let's do the reverser forward. How's he on coal and water? Yeah, he's three tons of coal and uh, 2,100 gallons of water. I think he's good for a trip to um, to the, the logging branch down here, right? Whatever that's called. I can't remember what that branch is called. The Conley branch. Okay. So we're good on that. He can run out there and get some logs. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just... Uh, spot him up and see you know see about fueling that sort of thing when we get back oh yeah we got to get our switch it's not going to hurt if he runs through it it'll be fine but we'll grab it real fast what do these cars look like so we do have some cars ready to be pulled to go down to silva so that's good at least We've got one. I, that looks like that car was uh, a misspot or something because it says he goes to the Whittier house track. So that's not good. We're going to need to get him out of there. Yeah, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. We're going to need to get him out. And uh, get him going on the right way. I Surely he didn't load. Like, surely that's not his destination. Did he load here and now he's destined for the house track? Maybe? I'm, I'm going to assume that he was destined for the house track from the get-go and we just misspotted it. Though I really, like, I've never done that before. I mean... I, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit iffy on this one. Maybe this is just he's loaded here and, he, and that's where he's going. He could be. 
But I think all the cars that I've seen up to this point go off off route. Like they don't go on route. Maybe they do. Maybe they absolutely do. I'm just, you know, just misinterpreting it. All right, that switch is lined and we'll get him up here. That switch is lined, of course. All right, let's go here. And we should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and do reverse. Let's knock the independent on off or off, I should say. There we go. All right, now we're good. Uh, let's make him... Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do all this stuff, guys. It's been a while. Uh, train crews, cars, operations, orders. Yeah, we'll do road. Max of 25. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me a little bit. That is, it's starting to come back. It's like uh, I jumped back in DCS. I jumped back in DCS this spring break while my kids were at home. And it was like a whole new learning process once again. That's the only... It's been four months since I've been in DCS, which I was kind of surprised. It's been a good while. And it's like a whole learning process. Every time you take a break from that game and get back in it, it it's like... It, it's a whole big deal. It never fails. It never fails. So I, I'm back acclimated to it. So we'll probably have some more DCS too. Maybe some more Microsoft. I've been into flying a lot here lately. Uh, we're lined into the logging camp. Yeah, that's good. That switch is good. Okay, yeah, I think he's... Um, I think he's good to go. I think he's good to go on that. So let's go down here to uh, Silva. And uh, next, we got to work the paper mill job the other job we've got uh we haven't taken on anything else on this railroad because it's just going to get so incredibly complex and complicated to try to keep up with all this stuff you know i it's just it's never ending okay those don't need to pull it looks like we've just got a bunch of cars to spot up it doesn't look like we really have anything to pull yeah not even anything at the uh the coal dump there yeah, we've got two empties. I think these cars were sitting in this siding down here. I can't remember how I came to uh, gather those up, but they were sitting over here and they got unloaded. So, oh man, we got, yeah, we've got a lot to, uh, we've got a lot to do here. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where all these go. Okay. Silver paperboard, paperboard, coal and lumber, tannery. Why is it not? There we go. Okay, man. Yeah, that, okay, that goes there. Where does this one go? This one doesn't even go here. Tannery. Where is the tannery at? I have no clue. We got to figure this out, guys. We got to figure out where the tannery is at because, like, I'm drawing a complete and total blank on where that is at. I don't think we've ever delivered there before. Uh, let's see. Parsons Tannery. Oh, it's this one. Wait, is there is there more to it? Where is this one at? That one's there. That one's there. Then that one's there. Then that one's... Okay, so they're all here. And they're just all over the place, right? Man, that's going to be a hot mess. That... Yeah, that's going to be a hot mess. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do these cars. I got to come up with a game plan. So this one goes in there. The a and WP car, Atlanta West Point. That one goes over there. That one goes over there. That one goes. So those three go there. Okay, where does the... Paperboard. Paperboard. And I'm not sure where the... Uh, where is the colon lumber at? He's up here. Okay. 
it doesn't help that a lot of these are just like blank spurs. There's nothing, nothing like literally nothing there to give you an idea of as far as like what's going on there. You know, like there's nothing there to let you know that, hey, this is a spot where they unload coal and, and lumber. I mean, there's literally nothing here. They should at least have some like piles of coal and some lumber stacks or something. And then you would kind of know, hey, yeah, that's the... Um, that's the lumber place, but we don't even like, we don't even get that. They need to throw us a bone. All right. So that's going to go North with us. I think, and I'm trying to think how, uh, how we can do this. I guess what we need to do is just take this guy to select him and let's get some handbrakes. Yeah, let's get a couple of handbrakes on these guys. And we'll just cut off and run around our train. I think that's the first thing we need to do. Get the air pumped up. He's got some handbrakes on it too. Let's knock these off. All right, now it should be good to go. Oh, we left the air open. Okay, never mind. Not worried about it. He'll be fine. We'll get up here at the switch. It's sounding kind of buggy now. I don't know why it's doing that. The, uh, the air, right? It doesn't sound that great. I don't remember doing that before, but... It was like it's got some moisture in it or something. Like it's spitting a little bit. Alright, let's take this guy forward. We'll run him ahead. That's probably going to be today's video is just working this paper mill, honestly. Like, this is a big job. This is a job in itself. Like, I would love to have an 060 down here. Just nothing but for the paper mill. Yeah, nothing but for the paper mill to uh, to work this place, and then you could set out your outbounds. You know, you could uh, sort your inbounds and set out your outbounds to be picked up by the road freights. What are we doing money wise? Uh, one hundred and ten percent overall. So we're doing excellent. Like as far as our operations, we're doing really good. One hundred percent on everything. One hundred and ten percent overall. We got sixty-eight hundred dollars. We're uh, we're in debt fifteen thousand. Yeah, okay. I figured we had a little debt. I I'm I'm really kind of iffy about the debt, right? Like I don't want to get a whole lot. I don't want to take on a whole lot of debt because I'm worried that uh, if we don't do well, we won't be able to buy any coal to. Uh, that's where it gets you, right? Like you can't technically go bankrupt in this game. At least the last I saw, you can't. But what happens is um, you run out of money, and you don't have a way to get any more money, and then you can't buy fuel. Like you can't buy coal for your. So you're pretty much done then at that point. Like there's literally nothing you can do, unless something uh, unless something has changed since the last time I played it. It has been a while. I don't think this is updated. I don't, I don't think it has. I haven't seen anything about it. I haven't, honestly, I haven't looked in this game in a while, like since the last time we played it, but. Stop this guy here. Let's reverse him. All right, let's get this guy down here. I think I'm going to grab my headphones in just a second, so we're probably going to skip a little bit here while I do that. We'll get this guy up here and coupled up. Yeah, this is going to be a whole process doing this, like having to run around. We got facing point and trailing point moves and everything else that we have to do it's going to be uh it's going to be a bit of a process all right 
Alright, slow her up a little bit below four. Alright, that's good right there. Let me grab my headphones. There we go. Much better. All right. Headphones are acquired. Oh, what do we got going on with these? Okay. This guy is going up to uh, Silva itself. This is going right here. We could go ahead and set him over. We could cut this guy off right here. Set this one over. Like we could pull it out. Or we could pull the whole train out. Shove back in. Set this hopper over right here. Take that one. Shove it in. And then now we got to get these two over here, which is going to be the pain, right? And then everything else is going down to the tannery. And then these two we're hanging on to as well, too. Let's go ahead and uh, let's lace the air. Shift click. That does it. Okay, yeah, that gets your air rights. Let's cut this guy out real fast. I wish there was a way. Can you just like shift click it and just cut the air out? That would be nice if they had something that you could just click it and take care of it. All right, let's go back. Uh, let's go back forward. This is going to have some handbrakes on it, so we need to knock those off. Release you. Release this guy. All right, sorry. Let's take him ahead. They're still pumping back up a little bit. Man, he's really loud for some reason. Like, he's really... <laughs> he's, like, really loud in my headphones. I need to turn these down a little bit, too, man. Everything's loud today, right? There you go. It's a little better. My Razer headphones. I've had these things forever, but I didn't start using them until... I, I've used them for a little while, right? But I went a long time uh, where I didn't use them. And so what was happening is like every once in a while on games, it had like really loud parts to them. The audio would come back through the mic and it, it's usually like a big deal. Like it's, it's kind of hard to fix that. You have to do a lot of cutting. <laughs> you have to do a lot of editing. When your background audio is spilling into your microphone, like there's different filters and things you can put on it to try to kind of limit it, but uh, it, it can be a bit of a pain to fix. I know you guys that do this probably understand what I'm talking about. It's not easy. Like sometimes it's a process. All right, yeah, we'll pull this guy out and then we'll shove back. We'll cut the coal hopper off. We'll spot the other one up. Uh, we'll probably just leave the coal hopper. We shouldn't have anything coming back south anytime soon, like the passenger train, but he, he doesn't even come down here. So literally, there's nothing coming down here. 511 has been annulled. He's not going to be running today. There's nothing to come south. Right, let's get this guy stopped right here. I mean, honestly, other than that one car there, we could take the entire train and just like set it over here and then go spot those cars up so we won't have to hang on to the whole thing. We may just do that instead. Like I said, there's lots of different ways you can make these moves. It just figures out, you know, you got to figure out what exactly works best for you. You know, what is and what's the most efficient too. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll come up to about right here. We'll cut those two bottom cars off. We'll set everything over. Then we'll go back to these two. Um, we'll spot the one up down there. We'll leave the coal hopper. We'll get it when we go back north towards Silva. This has got a little tonnage to it. She's kind of heavy, guys. Make sure we cut this guy off in the clear. All right, just a little further.
All right, that'll do right there. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, let's try the air down. Let's try the big breakdown. Some shift click you. All right, let's take it ahead. Get a handbrake on this one. We won't bust the air. What she's going to do? Come on. Yeah, definitely a little tonnage. 526 tons just with those two cut off. It's a little bit of a grade here. I want to say it's like 1% right here around this switch. Maybe just, just to the south of it. You remember in our previous videos, we said we could do 700 tons on these moguls uh, south of Whittier. That was pretty much it. Like 700 tons is going to take you about 10 mile an hour. There we go. That's good. All right. That's good. Let's get the switch. Take them back, we'll set these over. Let's see, we'll probably line this switch because we can set the uh we can set the coal hoppers down this way, and that would be a good way for us to run around them. Maybe we gotta set those uh tannery cars over. Having the tannery, like this is the first time I've switched the tannery, it adds a whole new dynamic to the thing, like when you've got those extra cars that you gotta work with in addition to the um the paperboard we got a lot of yeah we got a lot of tannery cars out of this there we go all right that'll do right here get a handbrake on this guy apply shift click you let's take them to the switch we'll bottle the air i know bottle in the air is a no-no right but it's a game it's fine we just don't have to worry about pumping the air back up when we grab onto them again. All right, that's good there. Let's get our switch back. We'll take care of this place up here and then we'll come back down. I was trying to think if there's a way we could do that, North, but that's a facing point switch, so it has to be done this way. Oh, come on, slow down. There we go. Give me a little bit hot there. Nice. Shift click you. Get our air lace. Get this last handbrake. Release you. All right, let's keep shoving on them. We got another handbrake? That was released. Oh, we released that. I guess not. Let's get her switch here. That switch is good. It's good. And we'll have to spot this guy. I think he spots spots at the bottom of the uh <coughs> at the bottom of the uh spur there is where the coal goes. Yeah, I would love it in game if they gave us some more visual cues as far as like um what goes where, right? Like this it's a little bit it's a little bit spartan and i know it's still a work in progress but like a, a dump bridge there or something would help then you would know you just look at it and know hey coal goes right there i mean luckily we've got the uh the ui to help spot the uh, locations for us, so that definitely helps when you don't know Oh, she sounds good though, man. I'm still waiting on a big Emma. That's like our end game, right? We're still, we need to work on that some more. We absolutely need to work on that. All right, let's slow this guy up a little bit for the uh, spot here. I don't want to go hauling booty through the switch, right? Like it could be a bad day. Those these little industrial switches only like 10 mile an hour. All 
All right, just a little bit further. I just completely goofed that up, guys. It just, it just, I just had an epiphany. I had to sit here for a minute and figure it out. I don't know. I've got this place confused with Bryson, right? Bryson has that, uh, the hardwood place up there where you can spot cars. This is going to Silva. This is one I was supposed to take with me the whole way. I needed to set him over and then spot this one up and then get every, you know, make everything solid with the empty wood racks. And I totally didn't do that. It took me a minute to figure this out. I was like, wait a minute. This isn't looking right. Like, hey, something's not. I told you. I got to get acclimated with this again. So we got a little bit of an extra. All right. So this car is going here. This one goes over on the main. This one goes in. And then the other two go back on. Okay. Okay. We're good. It just, it took me a hot minute. Like, I, as I was rolling up in there to a spot, I was like, this, this isn't like, this doesn't look right to me. Okay. Okay. The coal cars for for Silva go, if, if they're not going for the coal and lumber place, they go right here for the paper mill. All right, we're good. We're good now. Get this guy slowed up. Let's go back. We're hanging on to a fair amount of car. Well, I mean, four. I guess it's not that bad. I guess we could kick them, right? We could kick this. Nice, that worked out perfect, right? Okay, we'll kick this guy down to main. Kicking cars is fun. I love it. Cool that you can do that in this game. There you go, sweet. Apply the handbrake. Question is, are we too... Yeah, we're too far. Yeah, I see. That's... <laughs> That's totally okay, right? It says we need to clear the switch, but we're clear of the points. Like, that is totally, totally okay. I wish they would kind of, uh, I wish they would tweak that a little bit. Like that, that's a little bit, that's a little anal, right? Like, <laughs> like that's a little anal in my book. We were totally okay with that. Okay, let's, uh, let's shut this guy to a spot. Just click you. All right, we're going to get in the switch a little bit. Ride this guy to his spot. Since we don't have any other cars, we just drop him right here at his first dock. We right here be good. Spot a handbrake. Nice. Let's bust the air on it. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, we dumped the air on him. Let's get our switch. We're going to pull back ahead a little bit. That wasn't the greatest kick, right? Ideally, you want to stop prior to the switch right so you have to like keep pulling forward and keep pulling forward and that sort of thing but sometimes it just don't work out i don't think we're not gonna be able to kick those guys in there so what we'll do we'll just shove them back in here let's uh release this handbrake he rolls on us a little bit it'd be all right we about half car Nice, got him. All right, let's just keep on shoving. We'll cut these off right here in the clear, and then we'll be good with this move. All right, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking with that. Like, I completely... Virgin lost his mind. I lost my mind on that one. There we go. That's good right here. All right, shift-click you. Let's get another handbrake on. Take this guy forward. Like I said, we'll leave the air bottle. It'll be okay. All right, now we got to go work the uh, the paper mill proper. Go down, yeah, go down here and work all this. Uh, we'll set these do go to the paperboard plant, the paper mill. So we'll set them over right there. Uh, we'll spot the tannery cars up. Let's see. There's like three of them going right here at this little uh, this little house track, and then there's going to be another one. That one's going there. That one's going there. That one's going to there. 
This guy here, he goes right there. Yeah, that's... Mm. Let's see, what can we do? Okay. We set these three over. We can set this one back up this straight lead here. And, um, and then run around it and grab it from the, the backside and then spot everything up is what we're going to have to do. Okay. It just, it gets so involved. That's the big thing with this game. I can't even imagine like having a lot more territory and a lot more industries to work. It's like, at what point does this game like have to be multiplayer to be able to get anything effectively done? You know? It's 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 really it's kind of the same thing with Run Eight too, right? Run Eight, they just these uh, railroad simulators get kind of overwhelming after a bit, you know, and it's like they're really hard to handle as a as a single player, you know. So I I, I don't know how you fix that, honestly. You know, if 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 you got a large scale railroad. Uh, how do you manage that single player, right? Maybe it becomes a thing where you do a lot of stuff on paper instead of like physically do it. So you work the jobs that you want to j work, but then like some of the stuff is just done on paper to uh, eliminate some of the load. I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know how you could fix that. Always said in run eight, you can have like AI locals that like they don't, physically like you don't see them actually like making all the moves because that would be like incredibly complex to uh program ai wise right but uh what if the local just kind of like ran by the industry and paused for a second and then the cars just kind of magically swap and respot you know uh that's the only thing i know you know but i i definitely think like large scale railroad games like this like they can get really they can get really involved. All right, we we don't have a handbrake on this. Okay, good. Like I said, and it's not just run eight. It's this game too. This game can get really overwhelming after a bit. I would imagine. I've heard some people say that it can be a handful. It's like they get so complex, you need to hire real people to help play the game with you <laughs> to manage your railroad because it's too much. It's like, it's just, it's too much stuff. Man, we could have kicked these down, but it's fine. Yeah, we totally could have done that. We could have just kicked these down that lead. We'll just spot them up right here. There we go. All right, that just busted the air. Actually, no, it, no, it didn't because we got a bottle. All right, yeah, that'll work out. Actually, that's pretty good. Oh, the supply. I don't know what I just released, but I released a handbrake somewhere. This is on that car up there. All right, let's take these guys back ahead. Take them to the switch. We'll set these over, and then we'll kick this one back. We'll kick this one back down towards the coal hoppers and then we'll run around it and we should be good to go. We're about to go check out our passenger train too and our, uh, our log train as well. Well, the cool thing, you know, talk about like AI doing work for you is uh ai is getting so advanced now that uh it, it may be doable in the future for ai to like figure this stuff out to like learn your railroad and your industries and figure out how to work these locals like actually physically work them right like that would be really cool that's a cool thing i did a while back i went to this ai site where you could talk to uh ai bots right you could pick all these different characters uh, some of them fantasy, some real life. And, uh, the one I picked was Socrates. I, <laughs> I just picked Socrates for some reason. And, uh, we had, like, I had an hour long conversation with Socrates about, uh, truth versus lies. Like <laughs> it was the wildest thing ever sitting like a full on conversation with this AI Socrates about it and everything he said like it was just like a regular conversation it, it was crazy it was crazy you could do that so i can't even imagine like where ai is going to be 
in the next few years. Hopefully it's not going to go all iRobot on us. All right, I think that's good right there. Okay. Grab this guy. Let's apply a handbrake and we'll bust the air on it. Nice. All right, take it forward to the switch. Come on, some time today, please. Why is he not moving? What did I do? You shouldn't. Why aren't you moving, dude? Is he out of fuel? No. Why is he not moving? What did I do? What did I do with this bad boy? That's the engine and the tender and then the car I've got. Why is it not moving? Oh, I guess it would help to uncouple it, right? Maybe. Is it out of water? Oh, it's out of water. No. No. It's totally out of water. How did we run all the water out? Uh, yeah, this isn't good, guys. Like, we're in, we're, we're in trouble. Yeah, the, uh, oh, crap. And we got cars on, uh, how did we manage that? Like, how did we manage to have three tons of coal but use up all the water? Like that, yeah, it's totally out of water. It's totally, totally out of water. Well, um, where are we at? We're at 38 minutes on this video anyways. Maybe a good time to, it may be a good time to end this because we're about to rescue this guy. We literally, we have no one else. Like, we got the passenger train up here at Ayla. We could go on and run him to Bryson, maybe. Oh, crap. I didn't check the fuel. Like, how's this guy on fuel? He's good. Yeah, he's got everything he needs. Did this guy, did he swap out? 16, let's see. Yeah, we just got to go to Bryson now. Let's take this guy, send him on his way. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble. Yeah, we're... I'm trying to think how we can fix this. Uh, he's going to have to go to Dillsboro to get coal. Um, the five, the five eleven would have to do it, but he's annulled right now. So I really, I'm kind of at a loss as far as how we could rescue that. I don't want to send the, the sawmill job all the way down there. He's just going to have to wait. Like he's got to wait on the, uh, on the five eleven. Like there's literally no other way to, uh, to do this. Yeah, there's no other way to do this, unfortunately. What is this guy owe fuel? 2.7, 1,500 gallons of water. Yeah, so everything's going to have to be fueled up at some point. This guy's going to wait here to load. Yeah, we just, we're going to have to wait on 5.11. 5.11 will go south tomorrow, maybe, with the wood racks and stuff. It's got a few cars to pick up along the way. And when he goes to the interchange, um, he'll just have to pick this guy up and, and take him back north. Like, there's no other way we could do this. Like, it, we kind of, we got ourselves in a mess with that, honestly. And that train is literally nowhere near ready to, uh, to go south. I mean, I guess we could go ahead and run them light. I was really hoping to get those wood racks that we got sitting up here on the Walker branch. They're nowhere near ready to load. If we, uh, if we advance the time, it would be good. All right. Well, while the passenger train is coming up here to, um, to Bryson, let's get all this set up. All right. Yeah. He needs to come down the main and he will spot at 
the depot here. Okay, that's all good to go. Uh, so the next thing we'll need to do with him is to... Uh, we may have to top him off here, honestly. Uh, if he can make it back to Whittier, I would rather do the passenger train at Whittier, which is kind of the midpoint. So we'll see what he looks like when he gets up here, but uh, that's what we're going to plan for unless we have to do it here. And then probably what we'll do to fix all this mess that we've got going on. I'm, I, I may stream this tomorrow. Um, for a little bit, we may do a little short stream tomorrow and, uh, maybe we can sort some of this stuff out then during the stream. Otherwise we're, we're kind of stuck. Like I'd have to edit the crap out of this video to get five eleven down there to the other end, <laughs> to the other end of the railroad. I don't want to do that. Like I just, the passenger train needs, needs to get up here and dump his people off. And then we'll kind of go from there. There he is. All right, he's coming around the corner now. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get him spotted up here at the depot. We'll check uh, his fuel status, and then um, we'll probably just fix all this in his stream. This is a good video for me to just kind of get back into the game and figure things out. Like <laughs> it can be a lot when you haven't been in it for a while. I didn't even begin to think about upgrades that we could do for the game. Like the, the big thing that I have on mind as far as upgrades is not really expanding the railroad, but uh, expanding the equipment. Like we need, we definitely need some consolidations on the railroad for our mainline freight. I'd like to, I'd really like to get rid of the moguls, which I mean, we could sell them. We could sell them and make a little money off of them if we wanted to. Uh, the thing is, is that I need two consolidations and I don't think I can get, I definitely can't get the money out of these for two consolidations. There's no way. Right. There's no way it's worth five grand, right? Okay. That's not too bad. Five grand, five grand is doable. Let's look at our, uh, man, you're loud. Wow. Five grand isn't horrible. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Okay. Here we go right here please stop with the bell please why is the bell still going can you please stop with that is this, is that a bug or what like what is going on with this guy dude that, <laughs> please stop 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 you're driving me crazy you're driving me crazy you got you, you gotta <laughs> you gotta stop stop with the bell thank you oh my god that was horrible Yes, thank you. Stop. Just stop. Please stop with the bell. <laughs> All right. Uh, what were we looking at? Consolidation. So we can get five grand for this thing. And a consolidation is 97. So it's basically we're getting it for another five grand. The moguls cost us uh, five grand too. So with the trade in, we could get two, we could trade in two of the moguls. And get uh, consolidations and only have to spend 10 grand on them, right? Like, we could get one now. I'd rather get a pair. Like, I want to get... <laughs> I want to get a pair at once. All right, what does this fuel look like? 2.1 and 21. Yeah, okay. He can make it back to... Um, he can make it back to Whittier just fine. So, I'm not worried about that. All right, guys. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end this one right here. And uh, whatever we do, the next time we jump back in Railroad, it'll probably be during a live stream. And uh, we'll try to get caught up and get our problem fixed now in the south wind end. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Love all you. And uh, we'll catch you on the rails next time. Peace. No, big cat. No. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Kitty. Oh, that's, uh, that's a MIG. That's a MIG over his head. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's the weirdest day ever.